Hi, this is Phil Simon with a video for the IBM for Midsize Business Program. Today I want to talk a little bit about big data and I want to focus here on the following infographic. Now for those of you who don't know, and I'll just read this here, big data has many definitions, but one of them is the digital convergence of structured data found inside databases and unstructured data flowing from news sources like social media, mobile devices, sensors, etc, etc. So just in general, the amount of data available to organizations of all sizes has absolutely exploded. And just following the infographic here, some people put the growth rate of date, big data at something like 60%, and that includes structured and unstructured data. Now, there's sort of a um, dichotomy here. On one hand, yes, the amount of structured data typically that you'd find in databases and tables maybe Excel spreadsheets, it is certainly increasing. There is just an amazing amount of information out there. But by some accounts, the amount of unstructured data out there in blog posts or texts or tweets or all these unstructured sources is actually growing at a much higher clip. Now, if you're trying to get your arms around big data, the tools available to you to manage structured data wouldn't necessarily work as well uh, with unstructured data. It's also important to point out that there is such a thing as semi-structured data. In other words, data that does not sort of neatly fall into the category of structured data, say a list of customers or employees or, or sales figures, and unstructured data. Uh, as I said, tweets or blog posts, comments, things like that. Uh, what's more, it's actually easy to take some of your unstructured data and make it more structured. I've personally done this for a number of different clients. Uh, know if you've got a whole bunch of different comments, then maybe it's tough to put them into a neat table with, with different categories. But there are tools out there, and, and IBM certainly makes some of them, that let organizations do what they would call sentiment analysis. In other words, I can take a look with electronic tools at my data looking for particular adjectives or the um, intensity of them and put a comment or a tweet into a category of maybe positive, negative, or neutral. In fact, many companies have actually done this and as a result been able to learn what people are saying beyond filling out surveys and again putting things into neat sort of structured places. Now getting back to the infographic here this just sort of supports this overall notion that the amount of data is growing and if you don't know what here a ZB is or zettabyte let's just say that it's a tremendous amount of information. Now sort of feeding the rise of big data among many things are the decrease in the cost of storage and the increase in broadband certainly going back 10 to 15 years when the internet was still sort of taking foot if you were dialing up on a dial-up connection to, and connecting to the internet and you didn't have a great deal of storage capability or storage was very expensive, right? We really didn't hear about such things as cloud computing. It was actually expensive to create and upload a video. It was very time-consuming. Uh, ditto a podcast. Not a lot of people blog. And because it's become so inexpensive now for storage and it's broadband has really become so prevalent, in addition, mobility has exploded, we are constantly creating and consuming data, hence the explosion of the term big data. Now, just sort of finalizing here, many organizations, and I've seen this in my years as a technology consultant, have not done a terribly good job at managing data, period, much less big data. And in fact, from the infographic, something like one out of three business leaders make critical decisions without the information that they need. And it's very difficult to get the right information. In fact, something that you'll hear typically in the data management space is, I have all the data I need, I just need more information. So big data represents potentially a means for organizations to get their arms around not only the structured data, but the unstructured and the semi-structured data. And it depends on the industry and what you're doing with the data, but there obviously are significant benefits for organizations that are doing interesting things with big data. Uh, certainly if you've got the right information at the right place at the right time in front of the right people, then all else equal, I would argue, you're probably going to make a superior decision. One final thing on big data, having complete and accurate information sometimes isn't possible, right? It is maybe impossible to uh, capture every comment or tweet or video or every transaction for whatever reason. And Voltaire has one of my favorite sayings, 
uh, that perfect is the enemy of good. So at some point, you really need to stop looking for 100% accurate or complete information. Once you have enough data to make what you think is an intelligent business decision, then I would argue you should make it. Uh, this is Phil Simon with this post sponsored by IBM Mid-Market Business Program.